There's a new Lord of the Rings movie coming out, if you haven't heard already. It's going to be an anime, and it's called War of the Rohirrim, and made by Warner Brothers. It's set to release the 12th of April, 2024, so we still have some time to wait. The War of the Rohirrim is set during the long winter that started in November 2758 of the Third Age, and lasted to March the following year. I think we should expect that only focus on this conflict and doesn't explore other time periods of Middle-earth, unless they of course plan to make more films similar to this. The Long Winter is an epic event that includes a war between Rohan and Dunland. The war where King Helm of Rohan defends Southburg, but ends losing his life in the conflict. This castle would be named after him and called Hornburg afterwards, though you might be more familiar with the name Helm's Deep that refers to the area as a whole. It's a pretty interesting conflict that also involves Gondor, Umbar, the Easterlings, and the Dunlanings. Many of these enemies only play a minor role in the Lord of the Rings, so it's going to be interesting to see them a bit more. I think we will get a chance to return to a very familiar setting, while also being able to explore new areas that wasn't fully fleshed out in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I think these concepts looked amazing, and I'm really curious what the art style will be overall. If it's anything like this, I'm really excited for it. I'm not much of an anime guy myself, and I know other people have some fears when they hear the word anime, but I do think it's quite a broad term that covers quite different art styles. Maybe an anime expert can tell me in the comments. In any case, the visuals for this film is set to resemble what we see in Peter Jackson's adaptations. Many of the people that worked on the Lord of the Rings trilogy will also help out with this film, including famous artists like John Ho and Alan Lee. I've been asked why there's a Mumakil besieging Edoras, and if that's law accurate. All I can say is that this war is not totally detailed in the law. We don't hear anything about the Haradrim going to Rohan, but the Easterlings do, so perhaps they will bring some of the Haradrim with them as they cross the Anduin into Rohan. From the concepts, it does look like a single elephant, so I don't think we should expect a horde of them as we saw in the Battle of the Pelena Fields. But who knows, perhaps it's just a concept art. Oh, and keep in mind that this film is not related to Amazon's The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power show, so their approach to lore and style might be quite different, which I'm sure many of you are happy with. I think Tolkien fans have some exciting years ahead, and perhaps even more films will be announced as we get closer to a release date for The War of the Rohirrim. Would be interesting to see a film about the fall of Arnor, or one about Eel the Young. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you excited for this movie?